Tree 4 Music Fest started today. The five day music festival brings people from all over the world to the city of trees to enjoy music, art and a whole lot more. Downtown is where we find Abby Davis outside Tree Fort Music Hall. Abby, what is happening this evening? Yeah, well, Brian and Morgan, the night is still young. There is a 10 p.m. noise ordinance, so the outdoor events have wrapped up for the night. So now people are headed to the indoor venues. They're going to different bars. Obviously, Tree Fort Music Hall behind me there. There's a band playing right now. A long line of people waiting to get in. A little bit earlier today, I talked with a couple people about what Tree Fort means to them. Tree Fort! Tree Forters agree. This is basically like the best week of the year for music and, and one of the best weeks of the year period for us. Bones. Those are the bones. And there's so much here to discover and it's kind of like a treasure hunt in that way. The 12th annual music festival kicked off Wednesday with lots of sunshine and smiles. Tree Fort's special because it's basically like a festival put on by artists of all different sorts. And you know, it's what's kind of exciting in the different sort of veins of music and food and uh, film. This year, co-founder Eric Gilbert says more than 450 music artists from around the world will perform downtown. There are roughly 60 venues. It's just the co-mingling of all the people from all these different places, but all these different art forms and music styles. And I just love watching people experience the, the whole thing. Gilbert says about a thousand events are on the schedule, many at different forts, including Hack Fort, Welcome to Tree Fort 2024, Ale Fort. Do you want to get inside the mouth? There's also Kid Fort. Let's go, go ahead. Which Marcus Belcher is a big fan of. Whoa. Even before kids, we were coming five days. Even after kids, we still come five days. There's just a different energy during that week, during the week of Tree Fort, which is very noticeable and very positive and really, really enjoyable. How do you like your beer? It's really good. Yeah, so we kind of treat it like a staycation. Um, we got a hotel room downtown and we're gonna just, you know, kind of shake ourselves loose a little bit and let our hair down and just experience our city in a different way. That woman you just heard from is from the Boise area. Obviously, they're staying in a hotel for this week, but I wanted to give you some numbers about just how much this festival impacts the Boise economy. Nearly half of festival attendees, so people who go to the festival are from out of state. That data is from Visit Boise. They emailed it to us a little bit earlier. A spokesperson also said that they expect this festival to bring in about $11 million, and that will be obviously all going back to the Boise economy. So just a huge impact on this city, Morgan and Brian. And like I said earlier, the night is still young. They expect people should be out tonight or every night going forward until about 2 a.m. Yeah, some of those concerts do last that late. They do last that late. But man, as <laughs> yeah. you said, a lot of money coming in, a lot of people seeing the city of trees, maybe for the first time. It is. It's great for Boise and an eclectic or electric right. yeah. energy. We should and eclectic. And eclectic, that yeah. too. <laughs> Abby, thank you.